Good morning, my fine friends. We are hauling a whole bunch of long holes, or pipes, whatever you want to call them. We picked these up in Abbotsford, British Columbia. We're taking them to Calgary, Alberta. So they're just going east over the Rocky Mountains. So we're uh, not quite halfway through yet. We're in Kamloops, British Columbia, on the good side of Kamloops at the Petro Pass out here, sort of on the, the east side of the city. I think it's the good side, I don't know. Some of you around here might say it's the better side, I think. But I think this whole area is very beautiful. Very beautiful. Okay, well, let's go enjoy the scenery today. It's one reason I stopped here is because, uh, well, I was out of hours, and also I prefer to drive through the mountains in the daylight hours, especially in wintertime. So we're burning daylight here, let's get going. Gotta go comb my beard and hit the road. Picked up a muffin for breakfast. It's gonna be a good day. We are rolling out. 614 kilometers to go. So far so good, knock on wood with the truck. So far so good. This is Sycamus. Where if you're not good, they're gonna sick the moose on you. No? Maybe not? Don't look at me like that, Diesel. Come on, I said it. I went with it. It's a good joke. What? Sick of their moose on you. No? Not funny? Hey, at least I tried. Stopping here at the uh, Esso Husky. Gotta add some washer fluid into my washer fluid container. And take a little break, check the straps, yada yada. All that fun stuff. Let's see if they got a parking spot here for us. Oh yeah, I got some in the back here. I feel like this place used to be a lot bigger. What happened to it? I think this place used to be a lot bigger. Oh, great. Okay, he's going to take the spot that I was going to go for. Okay. There used to be parking over here. That's why I'm going this way. Okay, so there still is. A little bit. Not much, but... I'm gonna 
back in here beside this guy. the sights now while we can. We got a lot of prairies ahead of us tomorrow and the next day. It's incredible how the terrain can just change. You know, as soon as you hit Calgary, just boom. Even before Calgary, a little bit on the way east, it's just flat. Or mostly flat, a little like rolling hills. Just prairies, you know, grasslands. The earth is just an amazing, amazing creation. Feel so small. You know, on the prairies, you get used to how it feels having an open sky, and you get out into the Rocky Mountains of Canada or even Alaska, they got some pretty big mountains up there. And you suddenly realize how small you really are. You're like a little ant. This big ball of rock flying through the space. Through space. The space. You know what I meant. Still got. 400 kilometers or so to go. We haven't even gotten to Golden yet, but that is the next town we'll, we'll see here in the next hour. through the mountains in the US may be a lot better. But I'm gonna go ahead and say the views up here in Canada are a lot better. Look at that. Massive, monstrous mountain. A mountainous mountain. Very rocky, indeed. Still have a few hours to get through the mountains. Looks like we'll be in Calgary around nine o'clock depending on how much I stop. I don't want to stop very much because I just got past a very slow tourist in a motorhome. I don't know why they're touring in wintertime, but they're scared and they're doing less than half the speed limit with no hazards on, no flashers, no beacons, nothing. Just half the speed limit, taking pictures, I'm sure. I finally got past them. I don't want to stop and let them get past me again. Overtake me, huh? I want to stay in front of them until I'm out of the mountains. That was ridiculous. 
always, British Columbia is always full of tourists and motorhomes. Summertime is terrible. Terrible. Because we got a two lane road going through here, right? And you got all these tourists coming through here taking pictures. We welcome tourists. Don't don't get me wrong. Like there goes another one. There goes another one. Don't get me wrong. You're welcome here. Just sometimes on the highways. Like this is our federal highway. This is like our interstate. I've had people in motorhomes and pulling camper trailers. I've had them just stop in the middle of the lane to take picture of wild take a, take a picture of wildlife in the ditch. On the federal highway of Canada. Trucks come through here at like 90 to 100 kilometers an hour, like 60, 65 mile an hour, and you're stopping dead in the lane around around a blind corner. Just take a picture of a bear or something. That happened to me last uh, uh, last year. On the downhill too. You go on the downhill coming around the corner. Luckily I was going slower already, but I had to just veer around them and I almost hit them. If there was traffic in the opposing lane coming towards me, I would have to make a decision. Either crash into the car head on or just smoke them. Just rear end them and totally destroy either one of the vehicles that would, or drive off a cliff. You guys who drive through BC in the summertime, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. All those motorhomes taking pictures. But whatever, whatever. It's still a beautiful province. I understand why they want to take pictures. I mean, look at this place. I want to take pictures too, but British Columbia has conveniently created lots of convenient little pullouts and stopping rest areas where you can stop off the road and take beautiful pictures. Don't stop on the road. <laughs> Some people need to be told. What? Some people need to be told. You shouldn't stop in the middle of a road. Well, we made it to Calgary. We have arrived at your destination on the right side. We have. We are at the automatic truck wash again. Gotta wash this load off for the customer. It's just the way it is get a truck wash at the same time too and it's automatic so that's fun it's the only automatic truck wash I've ever been through here how many of you have gone through this already how do you like it it stuff doesn't do the best of the best jobs but it does a pretty good job I think oh, I've got someone coming out here to help me right on all right here we go Gonna do the undercarriage here first. There we go. Oh, he's telling me to stop over there. Guess I should close my window, eh? Made that mistake once already. Where is he? I can't see him. Tell me to stop here. I'm gonna keep going. There we go. Now I can see him. <laughs> Gotta get the whole undercarriage washed here. Okay, I'm gonna stop and it washes under that part of that. Ooh, got a lot of steam from the bottom part of the engine getting wet. <laughs> okay, Diesel, you ready to get freaked out? This is gonna knock your socks off, man. So it's gonna measure the width of my vehicle, spray some soap on it right away. Automatic truck wash. If you're wondering how much, it's $85 for the basic. I think it's $125 and it gives you something fancy and special, I don't know. Yep, and wash this off and then we're gonna go find a place to park and go to sleep. I'm gonna go ahead and spill the beans to you and tell you that that truck wash is not worth $85 plus tax. Came out to just under $90. All it does is it rinses your truck once, it spritzes a little bit of soap on your truck, lets it soak for like 10 minutes. By the time it turns on the jets to wash it off all the soap is long gone or it takes way too long 
and then it just goes around your truck with the jets twice doesn't get all the nitty-gritty dirt off doesn't uh it'd be worth maybe like 40 45 bucks in my opinion to wash the whole unit 45 bucks plus tax of 50 bucks tops but 90 it doesn't do a very good job it is not worth that so don't even bother i'm not even going to mention where it is but it's right by the flying j in southeast calgary if you find yourself there and you recognize it don't waste your money on their automatic truck wash it works really good for me because it just washes my whole load for me makes my customer happy but if it wasn't for my customer who wanted the whole load washed i would never use that 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 that's the only reason i use that and i just take that out of what i get off the load so uh that's the only reason i use the automatic but don't waste your money on that that's it was garbage I don't even want to know how expensive that automatic truck wash was to install and how expensive it is to operate. It must be if they're charging 80, like 90 bucks a truck, it doesn't wash your truck. It washes the surface grit off and does a pretty good undercarriage wash. But uh, yeah, just go to a Blue Beacon. Just go to the, wait till you're in the US and go to a Blue Beacon. Way better for the same price. With that, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thanks for joining me today. We are in Calgary. We went to the Flying J just down the street. We're gonna stay here till morning. I'm uh, gonna get up probably around seven in the morning and go bring this pipe to the pipe people. And then we're gonna to go to the lumber people and pick up some lumber and we're gonna bring that lumber to the Americans in Minnesota. Someone in Minnesota wants the lumber. I'm gonna bring it to them. It's gotta be there next Monday. So I'll be able to stop at home for a day on the weekend, which will be nice because I haven't been home since I spent ten thousand dollars <laughs> uh, so it won't be too long of a home time that's for sure we've got to keep moving now but the truck today knock on wood the truck has been running fantastic everything seems to be fixed and in working order just keep please if you're a praying person pray that it continues that way because i can't afford any more big re repairs right now for a while and uh if you're not a praying person maybe just uh I don't know positive energy is that what you send whatever you send if you're not a praying if you could send some that'd be i'd appreciate it i could uh, use all the help i can get from anyone who will help <laughs> we're okay don't get me wrong we're fine i just can't afford another ten thousand dollar month this quarter or this half year i can't afford it again for a very long time <laughs> not complaining uh i feel like i got my money's worth so there's that uh and the the shipper loaded me late last night so there was a silver lining to the the dark gloomy cloud and uh we're just gonna keep trucking good thing i really love what i do and good thing i have you guys here keep me company we'll see you tomorrow don't forget to subscribe uh, click one of the links around here it'll take you to other videos of mine the link the picture of me right there the cowboy hat unless i change my profile picture uh, the center link there, that'll take you to my page where you can subscribe. So I've made it very easy for you. I'd appreciate it if you did subscribe. It's free. It's free. Completely. 100% free. And if you want to, you can set the notifications. And then you get a little ding at 4 a.m. Central Time every day when my video goes live. 